Hi, this is Luke Zip from Cracker Farm Auction. I'm here with this uh, monumental uh, southern stoneware butter churn. Uh, this is just an awesome piece. You can see it says Kentucky on the front with the date 1837 in slip trail cobalt. And uh, if you're wondering how many gallons it is, it's eight gallons. Uh, it's marked I. Thomas for Isaac Thomas uh, Kentucky Stoneware Potter. And what is uh, very interesting about this piece, first of all, is that it was recently discovered on the West Coast. So who knows how it ended up out there. Um, but the second thing is, it's a part of a growing known body of work from early Maysville, Kentucky stoneware uh, with a slip trailing and a date. We just sold a picture by Evan G. Ricketts, who was the brother-in-law of Isaac Thomas in our last auction. Uh, another churn like this is known in the collection of Mesda. That is dated 1836. The picture was dated 1833. Now this one's dated 1837, both on the front and the back. Uh, you can see that then through the years, they, they saw dates as a way of commemorating their work um, at the Maysville, Kentucky Stoneware Pottery. But also these large churns, the uh, uh, eight gallons is very finely thrown. These handles are very fine and thin. Uh, the cobalt is very vibrant and uh, it's just really, it's probably a showpiece maybe for a, uh, a store down there to show off what could be made in Kentucky. 1837 is very early for the southern stoneware of this quality. Uh, to put everything in perspective, Mason County, Kentucky, uh, where this piece was made, where Maysville is, um, in 1789 when Isaac Thomas was born, he was only the sixth child uh, the history says sixth white child, so maybe there were African American uh, children who were not counted, unfortunately, in the day. Uh, but only the sixth born in that county in 1789. Uh, by 1837, they had a very, very successful um, stoneware pottery that was making uh, beautiful homegrown manufacture. I don't really know when uh, I. Thomas started his pottery exactly. By 1809, he was already associated with the Ricketts family. Um, Ruliff Ricketts was the patriarch and a potter uh, when he married uh, Sarah Ricketts, uh, the daughter. Uh, I believe they started as earthenware potters, but by the 1830s, we're making uh, very beautiful stoneware like this church.